I think the, the robots today, they are prepared. Uh, obviously, I can only talk from my own company in depth, but the robots are prepared today for it. The thing here is about how is the surrounding equipment prepared for it, because it needs to be an ecosystem. It needs to be an open ecosystem, and the robot, I would say, is the central part of it <coughs> that collects the, uh, the information from the surrounding equipment. The robot on its own is still not the key thing. The, the key thing is the, co the combination of the process equipment, the grippers, the safety equipment, etc., together with the robot's movements. That is the key thing. So we need to make the whole ecosystem prepared for it. The robots, I think, today, they are absolutely prepared for it. I think the robot now is the only equipment, this kind of robot, not meet the demand of the industrial proposal zero. So the robot uh, need the demand must be improved for example, a uh, robot must be an internet robot. That means the robot can, can connect with other equipment or device. The data information can exchange mm -hmm. freely. This is very important. And another robot must be a standardization and uh, modularization. This is also a very uh, important fact. And another maybe we, uh, must be improve the performance of the knowing robot. For example, the high accuracy, uh, high speed, uh, big payload to uh, meet the uh, different uh, demand in the future. And also, we must be in the uh, intelligence for robot. That means we must be using the weighting sensor, force sensor, and so on. Okay. <coughs> so, on the one side of here, it's all ready, and here I hear it's not all ready. So yeah, yeah. what needs to happen uh, to robotics technology to, to be ready for digitalization and uh, Industry 4.0? Yeah, I might uh, add a comment. Um, I mean, similar to what we heard from some of the other uh, teams here is that also in ABB, we have already uh, today thousands of robots connected, uh, and today every robot actually are connectable. So I think it is a bit more about what we need to continue to work on is the equipment around. Because uh, only have uh, data uh, on, on the robot in itself is of course valuable in terms of uh, understanding downtown and there are potential need for service and so. But if you want to really create the most flexible, as we talked about, the most uh, productive, uh, optimized uh, factory, you need, you need to include all the other equipment around it. And, that is a process ongoing, and I think that you will see that very soon. When it comes to the gripper, you, you mentioned the gripper is, is a very important tool, and, and how much can we uh, 3D manufacture this, uh, those tools also so we can have more flexibility, because this is where we make a difference as well, to have the right uh, prehensing uh, tool. To be compact, obviously, as, as compact as possible, because they have to integrate uh, in existing uh, manufacturing site. We cannot just build something new, big around. It's already congested area. And um, mobility, it's coming. But uh, how can we improve this mobility of the robots to, to have them uh, going around and have somewhere a shop floor where it's almost clean as this room and then the robot are organizing themselves to, to create the manufacturing we need at the, the particular time. So this type of, of thing, but I see the, the evolution is there, it's, it's coming and, and things are coming. The, the point also I wanted to mention is they have to be uh, open code, they have to be uh, available and accessible to connect with the other equipment and that we can, we can make them to do.